Okay. I hope this is even today. It's good to see you. We're going to be doing another little get ready with me video. Um, and today's feature product is another one from Lipstick Queen. And this is in the shade Hello Sailor. It looks like a terrifying blue shade. But in reality, it is a different shade on the skin because it's one of those pH activated shades. Let me turn off my heater. Um, let's get into it. So I'm going to start off with my Lacura Skin Science Caviar Long Lasting Coverage Foundation. It looks like this. And it's actually an Aldi brand foundation. I'm just going to put my head back behind my ears so it's out of the way. Um, I'm actually a big fan of this foundation. I've been using it pretty consistently recently um, because it's one of the few foundations that's like that light enough for my current skin tone and I am actually a fan. I just feel like um, although it's not the best foundation I've ever tried, um, it does a pretty decent job of um, providing coverage and also um, it has a good undertone for my skin tone and it's not too pink and it, um, it's kind of like more of a neutral tone so I'm, I'm into it. Um, it's also supposed to be like a little bit more like moisturizing it's hypoallergenic it's dermatologically tested i don't feel like when i'm wearing this on the skin that my skin is like being sucked dry which is appreciated because i don't want my skin to feel super dried out and dehydrated when i'm wearing makeup because i wear makeup pretty often and that would not work out for my life anyway i'm just applying it with this like flat foundation brush from real techniques um, this is going to leave the foundation quite streaky, so I will go in with another brush afterwards. And that is my biggest criticism about this foundation. Um, aside from availability, because it's not that available everywhere, honestly. Like, it's only at Aldi, and, um, it's probably only available on some times. Look at how streaky it goes on. I don't know, it's one that, like, you can even out and work with it, but it's pretty, like uneven of a foundation and I've done it today like a bit more extreme because I wanted to show you guys because I feel like a lot of the time I work with the product to try and make it look as good as it can because obviously I want to get use out of the product and like make it work but I wanted to show you guys from that today just to like get across to you how much like there's so many lines in my foundation when I first apply this and um this is a foundation that I sometimes use on my sister like I'll just put some on the back of a palette and let her use it or sometimes when her friends come over and I do their makeup for them. I use this on a lot of people. And it's not just a me problem. Like, everybody has the same issue with this um, particular product. And it is that it just kind of leaves streaks all over the face. So I like to go in with another brush. This one is just a big fluffy brush from Real Techniques. And I'm just buffing all over to remove all those streaks. Because they are not welcome. So yeah. How are you guys going? What's new um, today? I'm just going to be popping on a pretty simple face because um, if I go out tonight, I'm not sure if I will, but if I do go out tonight, I'll be putting on a new face anyway. So this is going to be more of a natural, everyday kind of face. Um, I'm just grabbing a little scoop of the concealer. There's a concealer in the lid of this foundation. And I just scoop it out with the foundation brush and just apply it in the areas where I'd like a little bit more coverage. Although this foundation honestly gives pretty decent coverage um the concealer does add a little bit more coverage in any areas that you want it so for me that's under the eyes I've put it and then I also as you saw had some acne that I just put it over as well and it, it's actually pretty decent like you can see it covers pimples pretty well it does add a bit of coverage so it's not the worst concealer honestly um the concealer that I would compare this one to the most out of the other ones that I've tried would honestly be the Kevin Aquan concealer um just because of the texture it's very similar in texture. So I'm just going to pat over the face with some setting powder just to um, keep the face in place. And as you can tell, it is a bit lighter compared to my body. So I do prefer to use um, a setting powder with a little bit of colour on it. This one is the Nude by Nature Natural Mineral Cover Radiant Loose Powder Foundation in the shade W1 Light. Now, although it's W1 Light, you'd think, oh, it's like a light loose foundation. Um, I do find this has a little bit of a yellowy warm coverage and it just adds a little bit more like balance to my face so a little bit it's a little bit too light and then it like makes it match my body a little better so yeah I combine the powder with the foundation and it all ends up working out. I really like this giant powder brush it's just so easy to like smack on a bunch of products with it. Layering this powder foundation over a 
liquid foundation really gives quite a bit of coverage like this is quite a full beat i'm not going to set it too much like that's not as set as i could go i could honestly apply more powder um but that's all i want to do because i want to use some cream products on the face today so i don't want to um have like a cream product layer a powder product layer and then another cream product layer sitting on top and then all moving around so i'm just going to leave it as is i'm going to go in now with the lipstick queen um in the shade hello sailor and I'm just going to apply three stripes to each cheek. I'm going to be using this as blush. So as you can see, it goes on kind of like bluer. One, two, three. But watch it kind of like change into more of like a mauve purpley kind of time. I'm going to do a line down the nose and then one across the forehead. Should be pretty easy to blend out. Um, what brush should I use to blend with? All of my brushes, if you're wondering, they're all dirty. I'm going to use this F5 brush from Blinged Brushes. And I'm just going to blend this into the cheeks as like a Morvia blush. Because today's whole look is going to be kind of a Morvia toned look inspired by the little Hello Sailor lipstick. It's not really a lipstick in that it's not like a full coverage lipstick. It's more like a sheer wash of colour, more of a hint of tint, if that makes sense. It's very easy to blend out as a skin product as well though so even though it's marketed as a lip product i like to use it on the cheeks also and it's just added like i don't know if it's coming up on camera because my lights always wash me out quite a bit but it's just added a little bit of color back to the skin um and made me look a little less flat i'm just gonna add a little bit more just on the tops of each cheek just for a little more something something There we go. Because this is a more moisturizing, kind of lip balmy kind of texture, it also does add, as you can see, a little bit of sheen to the skin and it gives it a more hydrated and natural finish. I'm next gonna go in with some cheek products and like yesterday, I'm gonna be using my KKW Beauty contouring and highlight sticks. I'm gonna start off with the contour stick. So this side is the medium one, which is more of like a bronze shade. I'm just gonna be doing a stripe everywhere around the forehead and then with the contour shade I'm going to just do a little bit more stripes with the contour shade today honestly I feel like having a little bit more of contour so just doing two stripes down the neck and along the jawline I'm not that precise with this to be honest like I know you see all those pictures of like Kim Kardashian when she contours and it's like this whole like setup I'm not that fancy I'm a bit more simple than that so yeah that's all the contouring lines that I would do it's not very precise but you know gets the job done i'm just gonna blend 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 using this brush this is another one from blinged brushes and it's brush number f2 so like base two i believe i'm just gonna blend the neck first i actually have an eye product that i'd like to use on the eyes today so i don't know i'm excited to try something new on the eyes i'll show you what it is and we can talk about it as i blend my face this is from um Laura Mercier, and if you watched my video yesterday of my Mecca Beauty, Lo Mecca Beauty Loop unboxing, um, this is one of the items that I received in my new Mecca Beauty Loop box, and I'm really excited to try it out because I haven't tried out any eye products from Laura Mercier before. I'm going to use my entire brush just to do that nose contour. It's not a very precise one, but you know. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try this on the eyes today because it's a new new product for me. This brush that I'm using, by the way, is kind of a stiffer, kind of stippling style brush and it has a bit of an angle. It's pretty versatile, like you can use brushes for whatever you want and I use this not only for like applying foundation, but you can use it for applying like a blush, especially cream product, um, you know, contour, cream contour. Um, you can use it to apply a primer to your skin. It's pretty versatile. Bring that contour up the face a little bit, making sure it's all blended. And with these lines from the eye, I'm just going to drive upwards so that it gives kind of a lifted look. That was my tummy rumbling. I'm kind of hungry. I've half eaten my lunch. I have arancini balls for lunch. If you're wondering what's for lunch here, let me know in the comments, guys. What are you having for lunch today? 
I just cooked some arancini balls. They were like pre-made ones from just like the supermarket that you just heat up in the oven. It was really easy. I'm not even eating them with like a dipping sauce or anything like toppings. I'm just eating them plain because I'm boring. Sorry, I just saw something that was a little unblended, so I'm just tap, tap, tapping. Cute. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the way that's looking. Let's do the eyes and then we'll do a little bit of highlight. So for the eyes, with this Laura Mercier, it's called a Caviar Stick Eye Colour. And I have the shade Amethyst. I thought that it would go with the tones of um, the Lipstick Queen Hello Sailor because this is a little bit... I'll swatch it on the back of my hand. It's a little bit more like mauve if that makes sense. Um, it's kind of like a cooler toned... So I felt like these would like... You know how they both have that cooler toned vibe? I'm just going to apply this straight onto the eye. I'm just going to draw it. Is that all right? Do you reckon? Oh, I hope so. I'm just going to draw this all through the crease, actually. And then I'll blend it out. And then I can always add a little bit more colour after if I'm, like, not happy with the way it's looking. I'm kind of excited. So what brush should I use to blend? I'm going with this one. This one is another one from Blinged Brushes. And it's the E2. Kind of like a fluffy dome style brush. This is one of my favourite styles of brushes to work with. And it's a little bit denser, which means it's really easy to use with this cream product. <laughs> this is a very creamy product. Very easy to blend. Smooth, pretty. It has a little bit of shimmer, but not much really. Um, like it, Pretty much it's just not a matte shade. Um... It's really pretty though. I was thinking I might add some more just to like deepen it up after I blend it out. But honestly, that blended out really easily and I like the way it looks. So I'm going to leave it as is. This is stunning. I'm just going to do the same on the other eye. Really easy product to use. This is maybe a new favourite. I'd be interested to see what other colors they have in these Laura Mercier eye caviar stick things because um, I'm typically not a cool tone person and so if they had a warm shade, like a rust color, could be really up my alley. I'm just going to blend in the inner corners a little better. Um, guys, last night I had the most bonkers dream. I dreamt that I was at Target and that they were now selling, um, let me rub this off my hand. I, was, I dreamt that I was at Target and they were reselling um, in the stores, the dolls from the Barbie movies. So like, you know, all the um, Princess and the Poor part, Nutcracker, Rapunzel, all that kind of stuff. And they were selling them, in my dream, they were selling them in Target at exorbitant prices. So I would like, I was walking through the supermarket and I'd see like, oh, there's the Princess and the Pauper doll. It was like the, the, it was like the back corner of the supermarket. And I was like, oh my gosh, I've always wanted this doll. Let's see how much it was. And I checked the price tag. It's a dream, so don't worry, but like, Get this, it was a hundred thousand dollars. And I was like, ah, oh my gosh. And then I was like, I obviously can't afford that for two Playline dolls that Target has held on to since the 2000s. But I, in my dream, I was with my dad and um, I was like, dad, we should have bought these in 2001 and hung on to them. And he was like, what are they? And in the dream, I was like explaining them to him. Um, by the way, I'm using my KKW Beauty Highlight Stick in the shade Medium 2. Medium 2 is the one which has a bit of shimmer in it. The other shade in the other half of this... That was scary. The other... Oh, got a bit of fluff on it. This side is matte, and then this side is shimmery, so... I'm going to put that on my brow bone. Down the centre of the nose. On the cupids, though. It's a really pretty shade. Like, I actually really like this. Um highlighter. Now I'm going to go in with, I'll use the same brush as I used for blush. There we go. I feel like this highlighter reminds me a lot of the, um, what's it called? Not Fine One One. The one from Benefit that I just recently panned. This is a lot like the What's Up highlighter from Benefit. Same kind of, um, same kind of vibe. They give me a very similar glow on the face. The texture is quite comparable. Um, both are really stunning products and I love them both. So yeah, most comparable to what's up from Benefit. That's my face all highlighted. Let's get into the details now. So for me today, that's going to be mascara, eyeliner, 
I want to do some brows. Where is a brow pencil? Do brows and I want a bit of brow gel as well. There it is. Okay, let's get into the eyeliner first. So I'm using the ColourPop BFF Liquid Liner and I'm going to go straight in to the wing. So I usually start by drawing the bottom of the wing and I fill in by drawing the top of the wing. Like that. And then I fill in the little triangle that I've just drawn. And then, now that I've drawn a little triangle at the edge of my eye, I'm going to now draw the line across my actual lash line. Um, I have been a big fan of this ColourPop BFF liquid liner for so long, but I do think it is starting to run out because um, it's not as inky as it used to be. I've had it for yonks though, so don't think that this is me going, oh, it's run out, it runs out quickly. It absolutely does not. This actually has lasted a really long time, especially for a liquid liner, because think about it, I use liquid eyeliner every single day, so it's actually pretty surprising how long this has lasted me. I also feel like sometimes, instead of it running out, liquid liners for me sometimes become a little dirty on the actual tip because as you can see that tip's covered in like, I don't know, bits of eyeshadow and stuff because I run the little tip of the eyeliner over my um, eyeshadow at the base of my eyelashes every day and so I feel like sometimes instead of just replacing the eyeliner, I can just clean the tip and then it gives it a new lease on life. But I think I'm genuinely at the end of this eyeliner's life. It's not just a clean the tip kind of thing. Now I'm going to go into the other side and see how this one kind of goes upwards and outwards, trying to follow the bottom lash line. I'm going to try and follow that on the other side of my eye. Um, this one's kind of a flatter wing with an upward sweeping motion. So I just try and replicate that and then I draw the top of the wing in. Like that. So now I have the two lines. I'm going to fill in the little triangle. Well, my eyeliner runs out and I poke myself in the eye. Perfect, perfect. I have a question for you guys. Do you guys watch YouTube shorts? Because I'm someone who likes to come on YouTube and watch like very long, what do you call it? Long style? I like to watch really long videos on YouTube. So like larger format, if, if that makes sense. Like I'm not as much of a... Um, YouTube shorts watcher but are you guys YouTube shorts watchers because I can make more YouTube shorts if that's something you're into just let me know your thoughts um but yeah do you guys actually watch YouTube thought shorts is that something you're interested in or is that just like something that YouTube's doing to try and copy TikTok and you guys aren't as keen let me know so right now I'm just trying to fill in my lash line but this eyeliner is genuinely running out I'm going to try and, maybe it was just dirty, I don't know. I'm just going to clean it on the back of my hand. No, I think we are running out. End of the life. Okay, I'm going to try and fill in this eye and maybe it'll be the last time I use this liquid liner. Oh my goodness. RIP to my first ColourPop BFF eyeliner. It has lasted me through thick and thin. It has done so many looks with me. I've done some crazy faces. I've done some basic faces. I've done all sorts with this eyeliner has served me very well but I think today it has come to its journey's end because it can barely fill in this eyeliner for me which is not not a crazy look that I'm going for I just needed to fill in my lash line come on deposit that pigment I really wish the Colourpop's other eyeliners also had the same brush tip because I really like a brush tip on my eyeliner but the other ColourPop eyeliners like the colored ones they all seem to have felt tips I love colored eyeliner but I don't have any because you know I wear black the most um, but I don't have any that I'm like really obsessed with because they're all using a felt tip and I just think a brush tip gives a more precise line so if someone would come out with brush tip liquid liners I would be a fan um, that's as good as we're gonna get for the eyeliner RIP actually that can go in my empties. You'll see that at the end of the year in my end of year empties. Let's use some mascara. This is the Heroin Make Volume and Curl Advanced Film Mascara and I'm just going to coat my lashes 
this, this one. This one's also drying out, not going to lie. Um, I feel like with this mascara, how I know that it's drying out is it doesn't usually flake off my eyelashes. Like, usually it lasts really well through the day. I don't have any crumbling or any um, transfer underneath my lashes. And um, I'm starting to have it, like, crumble a little bit because the mascara is drying out. Um, it's having a more crumbly formula, which it usually doesn't have. It just means I've worn this mascara for way too long, to be honest, and should probably switch, switch it over. Um, but yeah, that's how I kind of can tell that it's drying out. As well as the formula is way not as wet as it used to be. This used to be, like, quite a wet formula, which is my preference when it comes to mascara. I love good wet mascara. It's my preference. Let me know your mascara preferences in the comments down below. Do you have a favourite mascara that you would recommend or a favourite mascara that you've reached for? Let me know because I'm always open to suggestions and trying new things. You guys come up with some really good ideas. I really do appreciate hearing your feedback in the comments. Um, some of the things that you've told me, like top tips, or like places to find stuff or techniques have definitely improved my life. So thank you. Anyway, that's mascara done. I'm going to do a little bit of a brow now with my, what's this called again? Goof, poo, goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. So I'm just going to draw in the tail of the brows. Oh my gosh, I'm a little bit scared. No, no, it's just raining. I was scared that there was construction going to start again. This morning, okay, you know how there's been construction outside my house? And like sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Today at about 8 a.m. on a Saturday... I hear, I was shook because I didn't know that they would do construction on a Saturday. Um, my sister went out last night and when she woke up to construction, she was not stoked. I didn't really care because I was already awake, but um, yeah, I just didn't think they were going to do construction on a Saturday. I was surprised. Um, I hope the workers get paid, um, like Saturday rates or something. I don't really know how it works, but yeah. I'm not really opposed to construction, like it doesn't really impact me. It's more like for my videos because it impacts my filming because I don't want to like film a video and the whole time you guys all get like a headache from like if you're listening on headphones or something and you hear like duh, 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 in the background, that would probably not be great. Um, so here I've just filled in my brows. By the way, I use shade number three and then I'm just going to brush through them just to make sure the product is all like smooth and stuff. And then I'm going to use a brow pomade. You know my friend Gigi? doesn't like the feeling of brow pomade and I'd never thought about that before because I don't really have a problem with brow pomade and how it feels in my brows but I totally get what she means because it is a little bit weird isn't it to put a little bit of something through your eyebrows anyway so I'm just going to brush all my brow hairs up it's interesting how I always start on the right eyes because I'm right-handed but like maybe I should switch it up and do the left first sometimes you know anyway I brush it all upwards oops there's a clump and then I brush it all flat so like lays down and it's not too much outside the box it's not outside the box outside the brow goodness there we go and I'm gonna flatten it so it looks neat because I don't really like the fluffy brow trend it's just I don't know I don't really like it as much on me it looks kind of odd in, in my face Like this brow always comes out so like, and then this one's always so like, that's my face always. Maybe I should flatten this one and make this one higher. No, that didn't help. Why is it curved at the front? No, let me straighten that out. I don't like the dip in my brow. Please brow, can we not? There we go, that's a bit better. Not very happy with my brows today, but that is the face done. And then let's do the lip and we'll be finished. I'm not stoked about the brows, but we're going to leave it. Okay, finally, I'm just going to pop a bit of Hello Sailor on the lips. Try and get some of that foundation off my lips. Something I do want to mention with these um, tinted lip balm -y kind of products is although they go on one colour and they, like, change colour through the day, um, they do have just, like, a balmy consistency. So when they go on, there is a lot of, like, slip to the lip, if that makes sense. It's very moisturising. It's not uncomfortable. But because it does have that bit of slip... It's not a long-lasting product in that it's not going to be, like, slippery on your lips all day, you know. It's going to wear off pretty quickly, kind of like a lip balm would. But it is nourishing. 
something else I want to say is as it does wear off, it does leave your lips tinted. So my lips after I wore um, the pink version yesterday, so this is Lipstick Queen's shade Frog Prince, wore this yesterday and after it wore off my lips were tinted and that happens every time I wear it. Let me show you the, the comparison of the two shades because these look really intense. There's a bit of like... There's like pink on them from where it's kind of transferred from where I've touched it. Wait, you can still see pink. There we go. Green and blue lipstick to make really basic looks, to be honest, because they are actually neutrals or not neutrals, like pinks, nudes, the bumps, into the bumps. Okay, that's all I have to share today. I hope you enjoyed watching this little get ready with me. This is my face for the daytime. I probably will do another face if I go out for the nighttime or I'll just take it off and go to bed. We'll see what happens. I don't know what I'm up to tonight. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more from me, you can like, comment, subscribe. You can click the join button down below um, to join like my membership thing on YouTube. You can pay a certain amount of money and see even more content from me. So I will still be making the same free content like normal here on my normal part of the channel. If you want to see me as per regular, I'm always going to be here. But I do have that like join button down below if you'd like to pay um if you'd like to see even more extra stuff that's more if you want to support me rather than me like holding back secret stuff from you guys it's not like radical over there it's more just like for people who would like to support me extra um you can follow me on all my other platforms at emily titch 20 um i'm really enjoying using Flickr recently personally but um you can find me on visco twitter tumblr um instagram pinterest I think that's all awesome. my space. Um, I really do appreciate you watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.